leader more than anything is like a facilitator of other people's works like you can't there's no such thing as like or at least I don't think there's such thing as like somebody coming into the community and saving it um, it's mostly like the individuals in the community that are taking ownership of their own growth but then to take ownership of their own growth and they need to be able to draw upon like the knowledge that has been readily available both um, scientific and, and spiritual knowledge and so uh, it's important for them to feel empowered, to feel that they are able to help their, their own community transform, both materially and spiritually. Uh, material knowledge is the knowledge that maybe is shared in secular education, like the mathematics, science, language, arts, uh, history, geography, um, just scientific investigation, things that help us understand our real, our physical reality better. Then also spiritual knowledge is like the, no, the knowledge that has been shared by the different religious uh, sacred texts throughout history, like the Quran, the, uh, the Bible, the Gitav Yaktas. Um, so like these things helps us understand maybe how, how, like, how like the specific community be more united, like what are the qualities that a community needs to develop so that they can be of greater support to one another so that we can understand like what love is or what justice means or what generosity means or what cleanliness means or purity means and then how is that applicable to our own individual life and then also how is it applicable to our collective lives but if we draw upon that knowledge together then we can learn how to implement it service oriented uh, leadership is conceived differently in the sense that like for a period of time like you're maybe more in the forefront than others but then you're like, consciously also thinking of like who could be that other person that would lead the community and so forth so it's like you're consciously thinking about the transition of, like who could be the next leader and building capacity in others so that others can also be leaders. I think it's important for youth to be leaders or at least be considered to be leaders because given the reality of the world in which we live, uh, the people in leaderships come maybe from a specific background or a specific perspective in life. And like youth have a lot of unique characteristics within them. And one of those characteristics is that like each youth is different. They come from like different realities, different uh, belief systems, different like backgrounds, just different. And like all of these different perspectives, if they are heard, or if they are like taken seriously or if they are like translated into action then you would have leaders that are more acquainted with the reality of the world and hence like their work will be more rooted in the reality of the communities. One of the things that I'm hoping to be mindful all of the time is ensuring that my services as a leader or as someone helping the community is as selfless as it could be so like finding some sort of like greater purpose than me so that like whatever efforts I put in, into it are for, for like that greater purpose and not for my own sake.